This is every Raspberry Pi board explained, starting with the Model B. The Model B was the first Pi board and it was an inexpensive credit card sized computer that ran Linux and allowed you to plug in and control hardware through its GPIO pins. There was also a Model A, which was cheaper but had less RAM and fewer ports. A few years later, the Pi Series 2 came, then the Pi 3, Pi 4, and now we're up to Pi 5. Each generation has just made the Pi a bit faster, added more RAM and maybe a few bells and whistles here and there. All these boards come in a compute module for as well, which allows you to make your own devices with them. It's the full board just without any I.O. or anything on it. And there's also the Pi 400 and 500, which put a whole Pi 4 and Pi 5 computer into a keyboard. Very cool. They also released the Pi Zero and Pi Zero 2 series, which are smaller, cheaper, but slower versions of the main Pi boards. They can still run Linux though. In 2021, RPi released the Pico, a family of boards that don't run Linux and are not a computer. Instead, they are microcontrollers. You write code, upload it to the board, and it runs that code. They are a pretty solid choice of microcontrollers nowadays. They're pretty cheap as well. And in 2024, they came out with the Pico 2, the second upgraded generation. And if you want to explore the Pi family for yourself, you'll find a link in the bio.